This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Annie. We're doing our warm-up right now and our goal is to keep Annie active with her back legs so she's lifting her back. She's at a different level on her training now. Good. So now spiral. Is she under your seat? Good. Not all the way so you've got to get her more active behind. Praise her. Praise her. Good, good, praise her. Now slowly come out and then do a big trot again. Big trot. That's right. And all we're really focused on right now is her using her back end so she lifts her back. So it's fine if she's a little bit ahead of the, uh, with her nose and stuff. We don't care about that right now. Keep her more active in that corner. That's where she's going to drop you. Good. Well, that's all right. Just bring her back to a trot again. Yeah. It's all right because you're really asking her to be active. Sorry about the camera moving. I can't use a tripod because I trip all over it, but I don't want you to have to look into the sun. That's it. Because you won't be able to see anything, so I have to walk around here. That's it. Keep her more active. Now go around the ring. Check your legs. You're starting to drop your irons, so that's telling me you're not using your lower leg like you think you might be at the trot. More activity right here. Good, more activity right there. A spiral in the center. Or somewhere. More activity. Is she on her inside hind? Good, so now the next, do a spiral right here and get her active on her inside hind. Yep, watch your right stirrup. So while we're working on what we're doing with Annie, we're not focusing as much on Trudy's riding position. Good, more activity. Good. Then you're gonna come out of it with a short, trot across the short diagonal to the left. Good, keep her active, okay. That's it, more activity. More activity, more. Praise her. Good, more activity. Longer steps. Good, right there. Good, now another spiral to the right. That's it, good, good. Keep her active. Yes, you feel her pushing? Is she under your seat? Good. This is a nice warm-up exercise. That's it. Good, good. Yep, that's that's it. You might have to shorten your range just a little bit. We're not asking her for a headset. We're just so you just have more control over her back end. More activity right here. Good, praise. That's it. More activity right here. Good. Carry your whip across your thigh. There. Good, good. More activity there. Good. Now start doing serpentines, adding the activity in your corners. That's it. Oh, it's a big change, isn't it? <laughs> you changed the pattern on her. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. More activity right here. Good. Right here. That's it, right there. Good, right there. Good, good. Right there. Good, right here. Pick, get her to pick up your seat bone. She should be picking up your inside seat bone by now. If she's not picking up your inside seat bone, she's not in your on her inside hind, which is where a horse should be when they're doing a curve or a circle. Good. One more time. This time add circles to the end of your loops. Good. Add a circle. Shorten your rein so it's up by her mane. That's it. Add a full circle at the end of every loop this time. That's all right. That's all right. Yep. Is she under your right seat bone? So what do you have to do? That's right. Use that outside leg and praise her. There. Feel it picking your back up different? 
That's right. Okay, get her to pick up your inside seat bone. That's it. Stretch your lower leg down. Oh, it's all right. It's all right if you scrunch your leg right now. That'll come with time. Right now, you're really working on getting her connected first, and then we can focus more on what you're doing with your legs. Good, good. Up the center line. 10 meter circle to the right, keeping the push. Have her pick up your right seat bone. Your reins are getting too long. If they start flapping where you have to do that with her head, your rein length is too long. Good. Feel how when you shorten your rein, you have more control of her shoulder. 10 meter circle to the left. Woohoo! <laughs> Good. 10 meter circle. Get her to pick up your left seat bone. That's it. Keep your hands close to the base of her neck. There, do you feel now she's starting to give you her body different? Yes. Good, do you need to take a walk break? How's your energy? Yeah. Okay, take a walk break. Good. Oh, that was not a good walk. Well, that's all right. So tell me, what were you feeling with this exercise? Yeah, I finally started to feel. Can you bring her over this way? I, I started to feel the push. Oh, good. But yeah, I was like whacking and kicking and whacking and kicking, but. That's typical, and you got to wake her up a little bit. That's right. And your idea of a whack is not really a whack, but no. that, you know, it feels like it. Well, I call it that stick. Yeah, use the whatever. That's right. But it's good because what she did is she started responding from your seat and legs differently. Now, you also felt when she would drop you on your inside seat yeah. bone. Bigger walk. Go to, the, go to the right. Yes. And it always is harder in the curves. Everybody loses their balance yeah, in the corners. Really, I didn't want to beat her, but... <laughs> right. Well, you feel almost like you are at first because, you know, she's a warm blood, so she gets a little bit lazy off the leg at times. Well, at least this warm blood. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the nice thing is, is this is really good balance she's starting to carry herself in. You know, she's moving more into where her balance could be. The potentials of going, you know, into more of the first level and that type of thing. Good girls.